All right, we're starting in one minute. So uh, if you can hear me, it's a microphone test. Uh, if you can hear me, please say hi in the chat window. Hi, everyone. everyone, welcome to Cyberlink webinar. This is Steven. Uh, I'm the instructor for doing this course. And today we are using YouTube Live to do the live casting. So uh, if you encountered any uh, glitch uh, issue of the audio, or if you got video freeze, uh, you can simply refresh your window. Uh, this usually will help. And Today we are having uh, two of my colleagues, Evelyn and William, uh, being the online support. So if you have any questions regarding uh, the demo, uh, you can see uh, there's right hand side that's a chat window that you can raise your question there and they'll answer you uh, your question online. So be gentle because we only have uh, two people doing the online support. So sometimes it may be a little bit slow. All right, so uh, today's course is all about holiday. Uh, the time flies, it's December again, so uh, it's holiday season again. I guess uh, most of you are ready for this holiday mood. So today we are uh, breaking the courses in three sections. The first section will be about uh, Power Director. We'll show you uh, the tips to create some holiday video in the, uh, you don't have much time during your holiday. And the second part will be Photo Director. So we'll show you how to use Photo Director's layer tool to create a holiday card to send to your friends. And the third part, uh, we will introduce our mobile apps, including Power Director Mobile, Photo Director Mobile, and our newly released uh, Action Director Mobile to show you uh, what you can do uh, when you don't got that much of time uh, during holiday and you want to edit your photos or video uh, on your smartphone. So let's start today's course. All right, so it's December again. You know, uh, every holiday season is the best time in the year to get together with your family to uh, have a Christmas uh, dinner together. Or some of you are planning to visit somewhere else to, to plan a, a, a travel. And the most important thing of all is every holiday season is the best time in the year for shopping. 
right? After Thanksgiving, uh, all these uh, electronic products are having deep discount, whether it's TVs, cameras, or uh, computers, laptops, etc. So it's the best time in the year to buy a new electronic gadget uh, for yourself. So uh, today we will give you our recommendation for the top 10 cameras for this holiday. So the first kind of camera is a 360 degree camera. Uh, we've been talking about 360 for quite a while after uh, ever since we launched our Power Director 15 because we got the uh, 360 degree editing capability. So right now there are many uh, 360 cameras in the market and uh, our suggestion the best to uh, goes to Samsung's Gear 360 price at 350 and Nikon's uh, Key Mission 360 price at $500. So both uh, Samsung and Nikon's model are uh, able to record uh, 360 degree videos and photos. And the video, uh, the resolution is pretty high at a 4K resolution. It's uh, right now the best in class, a uh, consumer level uh, 360 camera you can buy in the market. And for uh, Nikon's Key Mission 360, one um, very important feature of it is that uh, it it got the uh, real-time stitching capability, which means uh, you don't need to uh, stitch your 360 footage from two lens uh, to a uh, flatten mode 360 video for uh, further editing. So uh, if you want to save some time, uh, you probably can consider spending a little bit more of money to buy a Nikon's model. Uh, while if you're a Samsung phones user, you got their uh, Samsung uh, 7 Edge or you got their uh, VR headset, and you uh, probably uh, you can consider a Samsung Gear 360. It's uh, pretty affordable and the quality is pretty awesome. Like myself, I'm having a Gear 360. And second type of camera uh, is action camera. So uh, when talking about action camera, everyone, well, the best choice will, will be uh, GoPro. So they just released their Hero 5 Black, uh, priced at $399, which is pretty nice. And Sony also well known for their action cameras. So their latest model, uh, FDR-X3000, priced at $348, is also a nice one. And both of these models are able to uh, capture 4K video, and both comes with uh, waterproof capability. And GoPro's Hero 5 Black also got a building LCD panel, which means you can uh, preview uh, your recorded video real time, or uh, the LCD panel can help you uh, better uh, compose your video. While the Sony model, the Sony action camera is always known uh, for their capability of great uh, stabilization, which can assure you getting uh, more stabilized um, action videos when recording uh, with Sony's model. So uh, both these two models we highly recommend. If you are considering an action camera, you can get these two models. And drones also is very popular this holiday season. And when talking about drones, there probably isn't not much choice except of uh, DJI. Okay, so uh, DJI, they just uh, released a few months ago their Mavic Pro, which uh, comes with a foldable form factor that you can fold it and put it in your backpack and you take it everywhere. And if you're a slightly advanced user, you want a higher quality video and more functionality on the drone, DJI also released their Phantom 4 Pro edition uh, last month. Uh, price a little higher, one four nine nine, and uh, both of these two uh, GoPro models can record 4K video, and they got this uh, active track uh, functionality, which can uh, track your movement uh, from above, or you can even use uh, your gesture to control, like taking a photo or asking the drone to follow you. So it's pretty awesome, and especially for uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro, the camera is capable of uh, recording video at uh, 4K uh, 60 frames per second, which is now the best in class uh, digital camera you can see in the market to uh, record this kind of uh, high quality, high frame rate video. So uh, it's a good choice if you are considering buying a new drone. And the next category is about digital camera. I think a lot of you um, are having DSR right now, but if you are a frequent traveler um, you're probably thinking a DSLR is a little bit too heavy. So now that in the market there are uh, this kind of uh, prosumer level uh, compact camera like uh, the Sony RX100 Mark V or a Panasonic LX10, and both this model comes with one inch sensor, uh, which can assure you get a nearly DSLR uh, photo quality. 
And both this camera comes with very large aperture, means you can take photos under low light environment or, uh, or uh, capture a photo with very shallow uh, depth of field, which uh, you got the main body, for example, uh, your, 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 your friends in the photo look clear while the background is in a slow focus view, uh, having a very creamy background. So uh, both these two models are able to uh, capture 20 megapixel photos and 4K video. So they are good for uh, both photo and uh, video shooting. And the last category is smartphone. OK, I think nowadays a lot of people don't buy digital cameras anymore. Instead, they uh, use uh, their smartphone to record their daily lives because uh, a lot of smartphones already got very nice cameras. So the best in class uh, goes to um, go uh, goes to Google's Pixel and Samsung's S7 Edge, and both these two models' camera are got are, are highly ranked um, in uh, a professional camera site DxO uh, for its uh, photo quality. So they both are capable of uh, recording 4K video and 12 megapixel photos. And the bad thing is that both these two models, they are VR ready. So uh, for Google Pixel, uh, it can work with uh, Google's Daydream VR headset. And for Samsung's S7 Edge, it can work with Samsung's Gear VR. And both VR headsets are not too expensive. So if you want to buy your first VR headset and you happen to buy a new smartphone, you probably can consider these two models. All right, and the last and the most important thing of all, and if you buy any of these cameras, um, make sure you have in PowerDirector 15, because uh, PowerDirector 15 in our latest update, we already support the 360 editing, the 4K video editing, and some advanced um, formats like H.265 uh, or XAVCS, so which can assure you that whatever camera device you're taking uh, your video from, you can edit with PowerDirector. And if you like to take a lot of photo, a photo director is also a good choice that we got tons of uh, creative uh, effects and adjustment tools for you to tweak your, uh, with your photos. And if you've got any of these smartphones and we got some nice Android apps, uh, Power Director Mobile, Photo Director Mobile, and our new uh, Action Director. And these apps can help you creating uh, videos and photos even if you don't have that much of time, or even if you are on the go, that you can create a video or photo uh, using your smartphone. Right, so that's our uh, holiday uh, camera uh, suggestions. Then next, we'll show you the tips of how to create a holiday video. You know, during the holiday, uh, like uh, especially in the Christmas Eve, when you are having a dinner with your family, and after the the dinner, you're probably uh, sitting around, uh, sitting in your living room and watching TV uh, while at the same time unwrapping your Christmas kids. So in this time, uh, people usually like to share a lot of uh, photos or videos with their friends. And while uh, Christmas is, is short, so we don't got that much time to create a video. So uh, we will uh, show you how to use uh, PowerDirectors, this uh, particular feature called uh, Express Project which we got tons of um, timeline-based uh, templates that you can simply uh, drag and drop uh, your videos and photos in these templates and create your videos in three minutes. And the bad thing is that we've just released our new holiday pack uh, version eight, which also comes with uh, six uh, express templates inside that you can use uh, these templates to create very joyful holiday videos. So now let's take a look at the demo. Right, and since some of you are uh, our mobile app user, and this is probably your first time to uh, see Power Director, so I'll quickly go through uh, the user interface. So, in Power Director, you can see the UI is being split into three parts. The first part uh, is the top uh, left part. It's our media library where uh, you can see all your videos and photos, and the building template will be showing here. And the top right part. Here, uh, it's our preview window. So you can see the real-time preview of your media library content or uh, your uh, real-time editing result of your timeline. So here is timeline, is the most important interface of a power director where we got uh, up to 100 tracks of, of timeline. So it's a, a layered structured uh, editing interface. So you can overlay uh, a text over graphic and a graphic over 
uh, a video, things like that. It can uh, give you a lot of uh, flexibility when creating videos. Okay, so uh, on the timeline, you can see we already created a very complicated project look like this. Okay, it's the same as the intro video you see uh, in the beginning of uh, today's course. Okay, so you can see uh, it's a very complicated one. It got some uh, photos at the background and some transitions and some titles and some things like this, uh, the particle effects in PowerDirector. So if in the past you want to create a project like this by yourself, you need to spend like uh, at least two to three hours to come uh, to, to, to create a complicated uh, timeline project like this. But during Christmas, we don't have enough time, right? So uh, let's do the other way. We can use the uh, Express project. So uh, to launch Express project, you can uh, click on the parking icon and you can see Express project showing here. Okay. And then uh, click on Express project. It will open the Express project library where you can see all the building Express projects shown here. Okay, and this project you can uh, preview here in the preview window. Okay, which got uh, a very nicely looking uh, photo video slideshow template with some uh, nice looking text. So uh, for each of the template set, we got the opening, middle and ending section and you can freely mix all these sections. So it doesn't matter you want which one to start first or which one to be the ending. So you can, if you want to use a template, you just simply drag and drop it onto your timeline. Then you can see on your timeline, there's uh, this kind of uh, placeholder showing on the timeline. This one and two, and here you can see three and four where uh, you should place your photos and video in this placeholder. And remember, uh, when you see the preview in the media room, uh, it comes with uh, background music. But on the timeline, because uh, the Express project, uh, it's a combination of different template sets. So uh, it's not including the music. So you need to prepare the music track yourself. And once uh, it's been imported, you can go back to the media room to uh, select the media content here. Okay, now you can see uh, your media content is showing in the media room. Then next step, you simply drag and drop uh, all your videos and photos you want to use uh, to the templates. Like this, drag it on the timeline to replace the placeholder. Okay, and on the templates, there are some text. If you want to edit the text, simply uh, double click on it. So you can uh, change the text here. All right, and you can preview what it looked like on the template, like a slightly adjust the uh, position of this text and click OK. Then you'll see uh, this text has been updated here with this uh, cute uh, dialog showing up here. And any of uh, the elements inside of this template is adjustable. For example, here I got the transition. If I want to replace it, I go to the transition room and choose another transition, drag on it and replace that, and it's been adjusted. And lastly, if you want to add some music, you can go back to media room and find the music track and put it on the music track of PowerDirector. So here you got this video done. It just take me like one and a half minute, then I can create this uh, cute looking uh, slideshow, look pretty professional. And it's uh, the resource can be simple. It can be a series of uh, your photo, uh, family photos or family videos, and you can create a video look like this in pretty short time. So I highly recommend that if you don't got much time uh, during holiday to create a video, then you can use this uh, Express templates, uh, Express projects in uh, PowerDirector to create your video. All right, so that's for the Express project. Then next, uh, it's about 360. So as we mentioned earlier that uh, there are a lot of 360 camera available to purchase in the market. So uh, Ricoh probably is the first one having the 360 camera and Samsung, the second one, this uh, little ball, um, it's also available in the market since uh, April this year. And Nikon, they just released their new model, Key Mission 360. And LG also got their 360 camera. And also like this is from Kodak. And also there are a lot of uh, startup brands like the 360 Fly, 
or bubble that they're also having some nice uh, 3D cameras. And uh, when you got the 3D camera, what kind of uh, topic you should uh, choose uh, in your holiday season? So here's our suggestion. The first one is uh, Christmas markets and Christmas fairs. Because uh, is he, uh, in most of the city, there are Christmas markets uh, in the city hall or, or downtown, like in London or in New York or in San Francisco in the Union Square, that, that they all have the Christmas market. And in Christmas market, it's always crowded with people, with uh, lights and a lot of uh, small booths selling uh, interesting uh, Christmas gift or Christmas food. So uh, having a 3D camera, you only need to press a sh shutter to, to record the video. You don't need to care about all the composition or the shooting angle thing. So it's a, one of the good topic to take a, a 3D video during the holiday. Okay, and other type of topic is a family un renew union and uh, your Christmas uh, party with your friends. In the past, uh, if in a Christmas party, um, if you want to take a photo of uh, someone, of everyone, that you need to take them one by one, because usually your camera won't fit so many people. But now that uh, with a 3D camera, it's actually capturing everything uh, surrounding the camera. So you can have all your friends shooting a photo or video together with all of them included. And like your family dinner, everyone is sitting around the table. So it's also very good uh, for taking 3D videos. So now let's take a look uh, at the demo video. Okay, uh, if you are a follower uh, in our YouTube channel, you're probably aware that we've recently uh, released several uh, Christmas around the world video, which we got a video from New York, San Francisco, London, and Paris, etc. Okay, so uh, here's a video we just released. It's from New York City. Okay, so you can see in the beginning, uh, when you're turning around in the 360 environment, you can see there are titles everywhere and text everywhere to show you uh, where uh, this place is. Okay, and because it's a 3 camera, so you can move up and move up and uh, move down. You see this kind of uh, Christmas decorations are falling from the sky. And here is a Christmas market in Bryant Park. Okay, so you can see this uh, theater uh, skater ground. Uh, looks pretty awesome. And this little shop by the side. And at the same, you can look down while there's a power director uh, tripod cover at the ground. Okay, so uh, this is a 3D video. It's pretty fascinating that you can um, record everything at the same time. That it's uh, save your time while uh, it creates a very fun experience watching the 3D uh, videos. So how to edit? Uh, what what can Power Director do when editing 3D video? So here are a few things we can do in Power Director. Uh, we can add titles, we can add uh, PIP animatic objects, uh, we can add transitions between clips, and we can uh, enhance the footage if uh, the quality isn't so good. And also, uh, we got some particle effects, like uh, uh, if there's no snowflakes in the sky, we can uh, put some snowflakes uh, in the sky. And if you are a follower uh, to our YouTube channel, you probably saw we are running this uh, Where is Santa Hide and Seek uh, little events on our Facebook fan page. Okay, so take this one, for example, it's in Times Square, and uh, we are having a Santa hiding in the video. Like here, here's a Santa dancing um, right here. And actually, we are using a chroma key to add uh, this Santa Claus in the video. So yes, if you are a user of chroma key, you can also use chroma key to uh, uh, add a uh, green screen uh, footage to your video, to your 360 video, and uh, remove the green background. So let's take a look how to edit the 360 degree video. Right, so entering Power Director's interface, you can see uh, the editing interface exactly as the same as the 2D editing mode that we got the media library here, and we got the preview window here, and we got this uh, timeline editing interface here. Okay, so let me quickly explain uh, what 3CP is all about. So this one is a 3 stick clip. You can see it's uh, flattened, and the upper and lower part is a little bit uh, distorted. Actually, uh, this is called the flat mode or rectangular mode. That it's flattened a ball uh, to a flat ground to a flat canvas. So you can imagine it's like uh, you're projecting a, a world map from Earth to a flat uh, map that is 
that 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 it will be uh, looking like this. So the left side and right side uh, when viewing in Swift City mode that you'll be stitching together. Like when I click on Swift City, then the back side is being stitched together. While the upper side and lower side, uh, it will shrink to the North Pole and uh, the South Pole, it will shrink to one point. Okay, so uh, in Power Director, uh, the editing interface, if you want to edit any 3CT effects, uh, you are editing in this uh, flat mode, and you can switch to 3CT uh, when you want to preview what it looked like in the 3CT mode. Okay, so you see in the beginning of uh, the video, we got uh, some of the titles showing uh, around the camera. Like this, we got this Christmas sign showing around. You can move uh, everywhere, you can see the Christmas logo. And actually, we are putting uh, one, two, three, four, five, five uh, different uh, PIP graphics on uh, different in different direction. And when switch to 3D mode, you will see that it's surrounding you. And the one in the back, we are actually having uh, this one and this one. They are uh, they will be stitching together. So I'm having health of the image here and health here that it can create you a surrounded uh, PIP effects. And if you want to create a text, it's also very simple. Like here, I'm having this text object. I'm having a one in the center, two at the left, three and four at two edges. So in the 3 3 mode, it will show like this. Okay, one in the center, two at the left, and three at the right, and four in the back. And to edit this kind of uh, text, it's easy. You just create a uh, text uh, a text object and we think a text here one two three and four we are having four cutting in two uh in, in two parts one is the right part one is the left part so in the strict mode that uh, this will be stitched together in this uh, strict city environment so that's uh what the strict city concept is about so when you're inserting any object uh in your three city video make sure that you put uh in this uh, center this equator line instead of north pole and south pole because uh, north pole and south pole will be uh distorted like for example if i move this one at the top then it will show like this okay it doesn't fit what i want so usually i'll be putting it in the center that you can see uh, it's in the correct uh, it's in the correct aspect ratio. All right, so now you know the concept of creating uh, this 360 text. And to uh, add the PIP object is also simple, just uh, drag and drop anything uh, like this uh, on the timeline that I'm having this Christmas at the center, at the left, at the right, and at the back. So you can create a surrounding uh, text or PIP objects. And one other thing is that uh, some of you may ask that uh, if you want to use some uh, building uh, effects, that's also doable. So, for example, uh, in the party, uh, in the PIP room, you can see the effect, uh, the, the building template is showing here. And you probably remember that at the, uh, at the bottom part of the video, we are having uh, this little sticker of uh, power director actually uh, because when you're taking three steady video usually a uh, tripod will be showing here right so we can go to the uh, the pip room and find the tripod cover here and then you can uh, put it on the timeline and make it longer okay so you can see this tripod cover is showing here and in the 3 city mode, it will be a little round sticker at the ground. And some of you are asking, um, well, in the 3 city editing mode, actually, I didn't see uh, a lot of my templates showing up. For example, the Holiday Pack version 8 uh, is empty here, even though I installed that. The reason is because um, the content pack uh, is designed for 16 by 9 uh, as per ratio. So when you're in the 3 city editing mode, uh, it will not show up, but don't worry, you can uh, click on this aspect ratio switch and turn it to 16 by 9. Then uh, these effects will be available for use. It will show up here, and uh, it's simple. Just, uh, for example, I have this uh, Christmas tree and gift pile. I can put it on my timeline. Okay, then switch it back to 60 demo. All right, so now that you are in 3 city mode and I can uh, adjust the size of this gift box and Christmas tree, put it here. 
and I can copy and paste another one here and following the same actions and add one here and um, here. Okay, so you can see now uh, in the flatter mode, there are text and different PIP object being placed uh, on, the uh, on the timeline while in the 3CD mode, it looked like this and it's animated object, so it can be uh, popping, very cute. So if you're in the VR headset, you can see all these uh, cute uh, objects are surrounding you. And in terms of uh, video editing, it's just the same as what we used to see in the 2D editing mode. You just drag and drop all your clips, clips uh, on the timeline uh, by sequence, and you can trim it, you can cut it, you can add transition between clips. So it's very simple. And we got the question in our YouTube channel that someone is asking um, how to do this kind of uh, hyperlapse uh, 3CD video. That in the 3CD video is actually panning. So you can still look up, look up and look down and while uh, the whole video is panning, although the original one is a, a static one, that we didn't have uh, any other get, uh, devices to help it panning. So actually, uh, this is composed by uh, two different layer of uh, videos. I'm having here in uh, timeline one and this one in timeline two. So uh, to do this kind of uh, trick, actually I'm having this uh, canvas left in, uh, moving from left to right like this. So uh, it's easy to do with uh, PowerDirector's uh, keyframe tool that I can double click on it, enter the PIP room, and at the beginning frame, I set in the center position while in the end uh, of the keyframe uh, of, of the clip, I add another keyframe and move it uh, to right half of the screen and click OK. And on the second clip, it's the same that I'm having a keyframe at the beginning and make it out of screen. And in the end of the video, I'm dragging it uh, to the center and click OK. So now that you can see uh, this canvas is moving from uh, left to right, and in the 3D mode, it will look like this, uh, swiveling, hyperlapse, hyperlapse uh, 3D video. So it's a pretty cool technique that um, when we're designing the product, we didn't find out that uh, we can do these things. But one time when I'm trying, we found, wow, this is pretty cool. So actually, we use uh, this kind of technique in a lot of uh, our Christmas videos. OK. And next is about chroma key. So uh, here's an example that uh, this center is dancing on the street. And actually, it's using chroma key to add the center in. So I can take it away like by hiding the layer and take it in. So here's the center. And the way is that we insert this uh, green screen footage, put it here, and double click on it, go to PIP room, and use chroma key to get rid of uh, this green background and adjust the hue and saturation and the luminance tolerance to make it a better fit in the video. So it's now looking like this. But the color is a little bit uh, strange, it's too bright. So the same, I can go here and click on fix and enhance and go to a uh, color adjustment panel to make the exposure slightly lower, to make it darker and brightness slightly darker. So now that uh, it's fitting to the background, we are having this center dancing in the video. So it's all done uh, with chroma key. All right, so here are the tricks uh, for editing 360 video. Actually, it's not too difficult. So uh, make sure you visit our Facebook fan page to join this uh, I Love Santa event. It's pretty interesting. And we are giving away, uh, we are running an event every week uh, for finding a Santa in the video. And for those who join the event, you got a chance to uh, win uh, some of our software uh, as a holiday gift. So make sure you check it out on our YouTube channel. All right. And this is for the basic 3CT editing. And in 3CT, we also got one other very cool feature called View Designer. So uh, first, we'll explain the difference between 2D uh, video shooting and 3CT video shooting. So in the 2D world, actually, uh, when you're uh, shooting someone, you need to point your camera to him, while you cannot uh, capture uh, people at the side or at the back of the camera because I'm not pointing the camera to him. But in the 360 world, if I place a camera uh, 
in the center of three people that when I'm capturing a video, you can recall all these three things. So uh, if you're taking a 2D video and you want to highlight something in your video, you need to do something like zoom or pen. You need to move your camera to point it at two. But if it's a 360 uh, <clears throat> video, actually you can control all this kind of uh, zoom and pen in the post-production by using our uh, new tool called uh, the View Designer. So here we will show you an example of a view designer. All right, so uh, in this project, you can see uh, here's a clip. Okay, you can see uh, during the video, we are actually um, uh, there are four four lines of uh, of lyrics uh, in the sun, and and in each lyrics we are uh, uh, we are pointing to one direction and slightly zooming. While when moving to second lyrics, we are panning from point A to point B. And actually, uh, the source video is a 360 video like this. We are having people seeing around that, and uh, we added that with view designer when doing post production to control the viewing angle switch. So when I'm uh, dragging and drop this 3D footage on the timeline, you can see this dialogue shows up asking you want, uh, whether you want to edit a 360 video or 2D video. And if you choose a 2D video, you will go to this uh, view designer interface, okay, where uh, we allow you to set the time frame in different, uh, set the keyframe in different time uh, in the video. So uh, the keyframe shooting uh, setting is at the bottom of the interface. So like at the beginning of video, I set a keyframe, so we start singing. Okay, and end of the lyric, I'm having it zoom, uh, zoom out, uh, zooming to highlight the people in the center. And when the second line starts, I'm moving to uh, angle number B and zoom out. And end of the lyric, I'm uh, zooming in and switch to angle number three, zoom out. And then end of the lyric, zooming. And lyric number four, I'm zooming out and switch to um, angle number four. Okay, and in the end of music, I'm zooming in. So let's take a look at how this video looked like. Okay, it's pretty awesome and it's very easy that you just control uh, in the different uh, time points, setting a keyframe and you can set the position of uh, the, the viewing angle of the camera and the zooming scale of the camera by uh, using uh, keyframe control. And Power Director will add all these uh, in between uh, frames inside of uh, between, between two keyframes to control this camera pan or zoom. And once done, you can click OK and you are ready to produce this video. Okay, pretty nice. So uh, if you got the 3D camera, actually this is a very cool feature uh, to use in Power Director that when you are producing a 2D video, you want to control the viewpoint of, of your audience, you can use uh, this uh, view designer technique to attempt uh, the result you want. All right, so uh, this is uh, for Power Director's introduction. So here comes our next section about Photo Director. So I, know, I don't know how many of you are uh, joining our holiday webinar last uh, December, it's one year ago. And in last year's demo, we have uh, this particular graphic that uh, it's a group shot and we use the bird shot to take different photos while uh, in different photos, actually, they don't smile at the same time. So in Photo Director, there is this uh, face swap feature which can uh, identify the faces and pick the fa best uh, facial expression and merging them into one photo. So of course, in our this year's Photo Director 8, we also got uh, this feature. But the bad thing is that uh, we got a new feature called Video to Photo. All right, so now that, uh, as we mentioned earlier, that a lot of camera are able to capture 4K video. And in a 4K video, actually, um, every single frame is an 8 megapixel photo, which the quality is good enough. So it can be a really good uh, source to get the photos 
from this single frame. So in Photo Director, we got this feature which called Video to Photo, help you, uh, helping you to capture a frame in your photo. While, um, <clears throat> while uh, this kind of uh, videos are creating several interesting scenarios, for example, when I'm um, importing a video to a photo director's library, it will pop up this interface, which you can capture a single frame. Or if you are recording this video uh, from left to right by panning of a city landscape, then we can select different frames uh, in this video sequence and uh, combine them in a panorama shot using panorama photo merge. And if it's a group video, you can uh, capture different frame in the video and as having a photo director to help you identify the best facial expression and merge them into a nice photo. And if it's a continuous action, like someone playing skate, uh, skateboard, jumping uh, down uh, from, from jumping, jump, jumping down, then uh, we can merge all these actions uh, together in the multi-exposure photo. So here, uh, this example is to create a, a group shot so we got uh, this video from five of my colleagues. <laughs> See, they never smile at the same time, but I want to create a group shot, um, group shot from, from this uh, photo uh, video sequence. So the first thing I want to enhance the quality so I can uh, take uh, the true theater enhancement to adjust the lighting a little bit. Then I'm moving to uh, a frame where uh, Victor, this guy is smile, so I capture it create a snapshot. Then the second frame, uh, <clears throat> Emily smile. So I create another snapshot and so and so on. I'm capture uh, five photos of five of my colleagues here. Then I can import it to my library. Okay, and after import it to library, you can see uh, photo director is uh, importing these five photos to the face swap module where you can click on merge then photo director will start to uh, analyze the faces and merge uh, these five photos into one that everyone is smiling right now. Okay, and if you think uh, you don't like this face, you want to change it, you can click on the face to change to other face like this. Uh, I feel so bored, but because it's a happy shot, so I'm giving Victor a happy smiling face. And once this one is done, you can save the photo, okay? then you can go to uh, other editing tools. For example, in the layer editing tool, I can select these photos when everyone's smiling. And because it's a Christmas uh, group shot, I'm using layer, I want to add some uh, little hats on them. So I, I got this PNG file. So it's now, uh, we got the layer here. And if you want to adjust the size, you can use a control handle. And if you want to maintain the aspect ratio during adjustment, press on auto key then drag, okay, then you can resize it. And you can click on Control C and Control V to copy and paste uh, the Christmas hat on the others. I'm having the other hat here. The same, I can make it smaller. And here, on Victor's hat and uh, rotate it a little bit. Okay, and what if uh, my photo, like this one, is a JPEG file? Can I do that? And of course, uh, you can, okay, sorry. Okay, you can uh, drag and drop a JPEG photo on it, but it comes with this uh, white background, right? So uh, in the layer editing tool, we got this uh, background removal selection area tool. You can select it and use a pen brush to brush on the parts you want to get rid of. I'm brushing on these white parts. And I can use the mouse scroll control to make my brush larger or smaller. Okay, I've selected the Christmas hat. So I click delete. But you can see there are still some solid edge by side, which isn't what I want. So let me do one more thing, is that we got this refine, uh, refine edge tool. Click on it. Let me click on it again. I need to highlight it. Here is this refine tool. Okay, I can click on it. Then we'll add it. We'll enter this uh, refine edge uh, tool panel. So you can select a refinement brush, the edge brush, and brushing on like this uh, little fur, fur, fur area. 
So you can see now uh, the edge has been refined perfectly. You can see all these uh, details and the fur has been uh, perfectly removed. So you can imagine if you're using Photoshop to do the exactly same thing, it probably need to take you like uh, 20 minutes or so to making this edge part being removed uh, perfectly. But in Photo Director, it just take you like 10 seconds, then you can do that. Once OK, you can click uh, OK, then the selection mask have been uh, revised and click on delete to uh, remove the background. All right, and then you can adjust the size of this uh, last Christmas hat. This background removed and put it here. All right, so uh, this photo is done. It's pretty cool. So this is uh, a basic feature of our layer editing tool. And actually, we are having uh, more than that. We got also a lot of other tools in the layer editing room. Like uh, if you want to create a Christmas car, you can add a text layer. You can add some shape like this ribbons and this circle here that uh, you can use the shape tool to, to draw uh, draw some shape on your photo. And we also got blending mode, which allows you to blend uh, different textures or light effects on the photo and blur tool, pen eraser tool, etc. So now let's take a look uh, how to use the layer tool uh, to edit the Christmas card. <clears throat> so I'm having uh, this photo of a little girl on the edit. But first, uh, I want to adjust the color because it looked a little bit dark. And Christmas should be joyful, so it should be brighter. So I go to the adjustment panel, go to curve tool. I can adjust the brighter part, brighter, and darker part, also brighter. OK, and mid-tone slightly lower. OK, so now you can see uh, the photo. The original one looked like this. And after adjust it, it looks brighter. It's what I want. And also, I want the color slightly warmer, so I can go to the temperature to make it warmer. So once it's done, the next step I want to add is uh, adding some uh, light leak effect on it. So under the edit panel, there's this overlay. It's a new feature in Photo Director 8 that you can select from several different kinds of uh, light leak templates. So usually this is the one I want. And once done, I want to do further editing. So I can uh, click on layer and bring uh, this photo to the layer to uh, the layer tool. So you can see now the overlay layer and the background image, uh, the color was being adjusted, uh, both imported to uh, the layer, the layer editing room. And the next thing, uh, I think the left part of the photo is a little bit empty. So I want to add the Christmas tree here at the left, while I want to erase uh, this uh, background image. So I can go to the uh, eraser tool and use the eraser, the brush tool, to brush on the part I want to get rid of. So just uh, brush away what you don't want. And you can reveal the background. OK. And then I want uh, the light leak effect also applying on uh, the Christmas tree. So I can drag this layer and push it apart, uh, push it upper to cover the tree. So you can see now the color has been altered. The next step, I still want to add some more texture on the photo, like uh, this one. It's a texture of a newspaper, so like a printed dot. So I can uh, resize it. Then I can choose different blending mode. Oh, let me choose multiply and make the opacity a little bit lower and move it uh, under the light lake. OK. So you can tweak with uh, different layers to see which kind of feeling uh, blends the best. So once it's done, I'll start to write some text and uh, add some uh, decoration on the photo. So I go to the shape tool. Uh, I want to draw a first uh, a ribbon. So I select white first. And add here, here's a white ribbon. ribbon. And also, the ribbon should be um, a red one. So uh, the white area is only for decoration. So I can uh, create another layer and select red and draw another ribbon above that. OK, and now when it's done, you can uh, slide it. Uh, you can use Shift to uh, double select and move it uh, down a little bit. Then lastly, I want to add some text. So I select on the Tech tool. 
click on the screen and type the text you want and adjust the size and move it upward. There you go. And I want this uh, text and ribbons coming behind the tree so I can drag it and drop it behind the tree. Sorry. So you can see now this text are being moved uh, behind the tree. So then I'm finishing editing this uh, Christmas photo. And what if I want to, uh, I think this creation is pretty good, so I want to save it while I want to apply this same uh, layer set on other photo, what should I do? So you can click on Save to here. You see a Save and Express template. OK, so you can save it as an Express template, like, for example, that you can name it and adding some tag here. And if you want to share on these director zone, you can click this on. If not, you can unselect it and click Next. Then this template will be saved uh, to your library. So for example, if uh, here's another photo and I want to add the frame on it, add those uh, layer frames on it, I can go to Add New Layer where you can see Add Express Template. OK, and select it. You enter a selection panel where you can find uh, this effect I just created. Click OK. Then you put all these uh, layers above the photo. So you can uh, create the very same uh, look and feel of the photo uh, by using same Express template design. So this is a very cool feature for a uh, photo director that once you create a layer template that you can uh, save it, share it, and apply on different photos. Or you can go to director zone to check uh, the photo frames created by other creators and use it on your photos. So this is about a uh, photo director. All right, and here comes the last part for our today's presentation is our mobile apps. So we're actually having a lot of mobile apps right now. So the first one is Photo Director, and uh, it's now uh, surpassing to an, uh, 25 million downloads on Play Store. And we have this app for both um, iOS and Android version, which help you to uh, edit great photos even on your phones. And for video editing, we got Power Director mobile app, uh, which got the same timeline interface as the desktop version that you can use it on your Android phone. And we've just released a new app called uh, Action Director. And it uh, can help you create several things, like first apply some color filters uh, on your video to uh, change the atmosphere of the video. And furthermore, uh, it can help you create a lot of uh, sports effect like uh, fast motion, slow motion, reverse, um, and replay this kind of effects uh, using uh, Action Director mobile app. So uh, let's take a look at the demo of uh, our mobile apps. So here's my phone screen. OK. So let me launch a Photo Director app. So if you're an Android user and you just updated to our last week version, we've uh, released our version 5 of Photo Director on Android. And it's got the new camera module, which you can now use a Photo Director's camera to take photo instead of uh, taking photo with system's camera, then coming back to edit. So simply uh, click on it. You enter the camera module. OK, so uh, here I got this Charlie Brown and some gift box on the table. So I can take a photo of that. And there are several different features in uh, this uh, camera module. So the first one is that you can switch between uh, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, or 1 by 1 aspect ratio when you're taking photo. And because I'm taking this photo for Instagram, so I'll use uh, 1 by 1. And we can enable the green light here to help you better compose your photo. And the bad thing is that uh, if you are swiping on this capture window, swipe left or right, you can see uh, we are switching different um, photo filters uh, to the photo. And you can also uh, go to uh, this selection panel to select different type of uh, photo effects. So I'll choose this one, the festival and touch to focus, then uh, capture a photo. OK, now you can see uh, here's the photo being captured to my library. 
And if you want to edit, you can click on the edit button to edit that. And the first problem I found that uh, is Charlie Brown's photo, but I forgot that there's a pen behind that. I didn't aware of that. So don't worry, you can go to the removal tool here and use your finger to brush on the pen. Then click on apply. Then photo director will use the content aware removal tool to get rid of this pen here. So this is the original one and this is the pen being removed. Perfect. All right, and next we want to adjust the color a little bit. I want uh, it look brighter still. So I can go to curve tool in the adjustment panel while bring down a little bit of the mid tone and bring up a little bit the darker part. So this is a photo uh, look and feel I like and I want the saturation slightly higher so I can uh, go to saturation to make it higher. All right, and the next step, uh, I want to apply some lightly, lighted effects, lightly effects, just like what I do uh, in <clears throat> uh, photo director's desktop version. So I can go to overlays, select light leak. And here you can see a lot of different light leak templates available for choose. Okay, so I choose this one. And next I want to uh, create a photo of a snow globe. So we got this new tool under the splash panel. Okay, it's called the shape mask. So here we got several different masks. Uh, for you to choose from. Okay, so since it's a, a, a snow globe, so I choose this one, and I can use my two finger pinch to adjust the size and position of the snow globe. Click OK. And since it's a snow globe, so um, I want to add some snowflakes <clears throat> in the photo. So I can go to uh, this tool called the pen tools. There is a magic brush in the tool set where I choose this tic-tac-toe effect and brush on the photo, then uh, these little snowflakes are being added. Okay, and lastly, I want to add some stickers. So I go to the sticker panel and finding uh, more effects, like it's holiday right now, so we are having this Christmas Day templates, uh, Christmas Day stickers, so I can use it and select uh, like here. I want to add this one. And I can use a finger pinch to make it larger. And I can use multiple uh, stickers in it. So here's a second sticker. Okay, and if you want to remove one sticker, just click on it and click uh, delete, then it's done. So here's uh, the photo being added sticker. And lastly, I want to add the frame. So I can go to the frame panel to select different frames uh, my photo and also if you want more you can download some other frames like uh, the christmas frame and use it okay well it covers my sticker so i'll choose a plain one like this one click okay then it's done so you can see this is the original photo taken and this is the edit photo now look totally different then next step you can save it and uh, then you can uh, share save it or share it to your facebook or instagram uh, right inside of the program so this is Photo Director app. And the second app we'll show you is our Action Director mobile app. So this app, uh, as you mentioned, that it can help you create some action effect like slow motion or fast motion. So I can go to uh, my edit room where I can see uh, several photos, uh, several videos in my SD card. So for example, I choose this uh, video clip. It's from uh, my recent visit to Universal Studio Japan and it's a notorious uh, Jurassic Park ride that this card is sliding uh, from uh, 10 floor high. So I can go back and add it to photo direct, uh, action director to do the edit. So entering, uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to trim the clip. So I can go to the edit room and move from the back of the video to trim to the part I want. Okay, and click okay. Then the video has been trimmed shorter. Mm -hmm. And the next thing is that uh, when the car is sliding down, I want to create some um, action effects. So I want to start from this point and end at this point. So first I want the slow motion. So I make the speed one force uh, slower. And then I want uh, this uh, action takes two times. So I can click on two in the repeat 
and between first and second time, I want a reverse effect. So this kind of adjustment will give you a uh, first time, the regular uh, speed, then a reverse plus a second time, one force uh, slow motion. So let's take a look how it looked like after applying this uh, speed effect. It'll take uh, some, a few seconds for action director to uh, uh, pre-render a copy for you to review. Okay, so it will look like this. Wow, that's awesome, right? Then click OK, you can uh, go back to the editing interface. And the last part, I want to add some color effects. I can go to color and select from different uh, filters to change the color of these clips. OK, let me choose this one. And you can also manually adjust the brightness and the contrast, et cetera, here. And once done, I want to mute the background music because I want to merge uh, several different, uh, this kind of uh, clip with a speed effect. So I want to mute the audio so I can go uh, to audio to uh, untick uh, the original audio and click OK. Then you produce a video clip like this. It's a very cool speed effect. And if it's all fine with you, then we can go to produce the video. So you can select uh, from SD to Full HD quality. And uh, for the Full HD quality is only available uh, when you're having an uh, in-app purchase of uh, in-app upgrade uh, in this program. So if you like our app and you want a Full HD uh, exporting quality, you can uh, consider paying little money, 2.99 to upgrade to the full version. All right, so this is Action Director. And once it's done, I want to combine multiple, multiple clips uh, uh, with a longer one so I can go to Power Director mobile app. OK, so this is the interface of Powder to mobile app. And you can click on new project to start with the new video project editing. And we support both uh, 16 by 9 uh, horizontal video and 9 by 16 vertical video. I know uh, in mobile phone, a lot of people like to create 9 by 18 vertical video. So I click 9 by 18. And entering the interface where you can see uh, your photos, videos, and photos, and music are all uh, stored in different folders. So to add a video to your timeline, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. I can open this and uh, select the clip, then click the plus sign to add it onto my timeline. And if I want to trim uh, one clip shorter, I can select it on the timeline and trim it shorter. OK, and to add the transition between clip, I simply click on the transition between the clip and add the transition effect. And next, I want to add some text uh, at the beginning of the video. So I can go to this overlay and select title. Here you can see uh, several building titles. And if you want more, uh, we got an uh, in-app upgrade version. You can buy this content pack from Cyberlink for this uh, extra text uh, contents. OK. And if not, you can use the free uh, text template directly by clicking on it. OK. So once it's done, you can uh, adjust it, make it larger. You can click on it to uh, type the text you want. OK, and make it larger. And you can change the form face by clicking the Edit icon and click Title Designer, where you can choose a different title, different form faces, and adjust the color. I want to make it brighter. I'm creating an online. OK, once it's done, we can take a look what it looks like. Hmm. OK, look good. Then next, we also want to add some stickers on the video. So we go to the sticker room, where uh, the same, we got a lot of uh, new templates to download. You can download it from uh, this template set or using those ones you already downloaded. Like I want to add the Facebook like button here, share button here, and this Christmas decorations here, and the Christmas tree, I put it here. OK, so you can uh, go to uh, each object to adjust the size. Move it lower. And this one, I'll move it higher here. 
Okay, and lastly, I want to add the music track so I can go to the music and find the track I like, then add it to timeline. And because this music is too long, so I want to trim it. So I click on the audio track, click on the trim button, then uh, select the part you want to trim, then click on the trash can. You can trim it. And I want to mute uh, the ending of the, I want to fade out the ending of the music so I can select on the track again, click on edit volume to add a fade in and fade out effect on the music. All right, so now see uh, what we've done. Okay, you see we got the transition, some of these uh, animated uh, objects on the video and transitions. Okay, and this uh, little uh, cute uh, Christmas decoration and all the clips are with uh, some speed effects. Okay, and if you like it, you can go to the save panel to save the project or uh, you can produce a video, go to produce panel. You can save the video to your SD card or smartphone or share on YouTube and Facebook. Or uh, if you are a user of uh, Cyberlink Cloud, you can uh, save this project with uh, the packed uh, project material like your video photos and music and these titles, etc. you use and packing them all to a project that you can upload it to Cyberlink Cloud. And when you back home, you can uh, go to PowerDirector on your PC and download the project from Sabling Cloud to continue with edit to for more edits uh, on your desktop. So it's pretty awesome that uh, you can work up between the mobile version and the desktop version. All right, so that's for today's presentation. I really wish all of you enjoy it. And uh, today's uh, presentation is bring to you by Cyberlink Learning Center. Okay, so you, if you want to uh, visit Cyberlink Learning Center, you can uh, go to Cyberlink homepage, find it under support, there's Learning Center, where you can find uh, several different uh, tutorials for photo director and power director, and also our uh, webinar. It will be archived on the Learning Center next week, so you can rewatch it again. And if you want to watch uh, previous webinars, you can still go to here to watch some previous webinars we, we got. Okay, and... Uh, Here's a quick uh, teaser for our upcoming event. We are running this new event called uh, I Love This City Photo Contest uh, starting uh, January 5th next year to March 7th. And so you can use a photo director on desktop. We got a Windows and Mac version or uh, on your smartphone using photo director mobile. We got Android and iOS version to create a photo and submit to our event page and then uh, you will get the chance to win great prizes like uh, the DJI drone, Asus phone, and Samsung Gear 60 camera, etc. So uh, stay tuned. And in this holiday, uh, if you got some nice photo, don't forget they're coming back to us by early January to join in our photo contest. Okay. And uh, for today's presentation, uh, we are again we are having this little survey. So please help uh, filling in the survey to help us improve our next uh, webinar better. So we are giving away uh, this gift: uh, Power Director, Photo Director, and How They Pack, and uh, four uh, Udemy courses to those who fill in the certification survey. So you can find the link uh, in the description here, the first line. Don't forget to uh, filling the filling the certification survey uh, before the end of the course. All right, and uh, we if you want more advanced courses, we also have uh, on Udemy from uh, Phil Abner. He is our uh, photo director and power director instructor. So uh, for webinar participant, you can use these two special links to buy uh, at the health price of the original price for a three hour long photo director and power director courses. All right, and uh, lastly, uh, it's holiday season, so we are having uh, several deep discounts on our products on Director Suite, Power Director, and Photo Director. So uh, Director Suite is right now at one ninety nine, and if you registered our webinar, you've received this coupon US sixteen twelve WEB, which can give you additional fifteen percent discounts, which means you can buy uh, the Director Suite at one ninety uh, one sixty nine and power director at uh, 67 and if you want to buy photo director it's uh, less than 60 dollars pretty great offer so don't forget to check it out 
All right, so thank you so much for today's presentation. And uh, the presentation is brought to you by Cyber Learning Center. And our next webinar will be in uh, next February. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe our YouTube channel, our Facebook channel, and make sure you check our email. We'll send the invitation to you. So thank you very much. And we wish all of you having a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye-bye.